Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, back talking about the DigiGuide Master Collection again. I know that the last video, a lot of people saw that. Uh, it's become our highest viewed video with uh, 4,100 views and counting. So I uh, just wanted to say thanks for the support on that video. It's huge, huge thanks. And also welcome to the new people who subscribed. Because I know that we got uh, quite a few subscribers from that video. So uh, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy the stuff we're posting and... Um, Hopefully you stay with us and uh, continue with us on our YouTube journey into the future. So uh, once again, thanks for the support on that video. Thanks for subbing, guys. Uh, but today we're here to talk about the newly released character showcase trailer that Koei Tecmo and Team Ninja released for the DigiGuard Master Collection. I think they released it about a week or two ago. I'm not 100% sure when they released this trailer. I can't remember. Um, I did watch it the day it came out, but I've just been really, really busy just with other things in life to be able to record a video on it but now here we are so yeah talking about the character showcase trailer the characters they showed obviously all the playable characters Iane, Mimiji, Rachel, Kasumi and Ryu all of the stuff looks great I think the gameplay looks fantastic uh, obviously we do know that as I said in the previous video the version of Ninja Garden 2 that will be in this collection will be the censored Sigma 2 version obviously with no blood and less dismemberment. I think it still has dismemberment because it looked like it did in the trailer but it's not going to be as much as the original version which eh, I mean I was a bit disappointed by that initially but people did bring up some fair points in the comments which also this video I will be answering some of you guys' questions from the comments and just kind of making a concise video that everyone can just come back to and watch if they want answers to certain questions for this collection instead of having to scroll through the comments on the previous video but yeah uh the trailer came out looks great all the characters look really fun to use uh i did try ayane in the razor's edge demo i think i think that's where i tried it yeah but her gameplay was really fun in that there was obviously mamiji she looks great same uh, i think she was in Razor's Edge like Iane and then also she's in Sigma 2 I think. Uh, Rachel who's in the first game, the first Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Kasumi who I think is in Sigma 2 and Razor's Edge as well. But I'm not 100% sure on that because I didn't, uh, I haven't actually played Razor's Edge before. Um, and also Ryu obviously who's in all three games because he's the main character. So yeah, the uh, gameplay that we did see on those trailers looked fantastic. Obviously it's very similar to what we've seen from back in the uh, back in the day with the original versions of Sigma, original version of Sigma 2 and Razor's Edge. I think these are pretty much just going to be ports. As I said, the uh, gameplay looks fantastic, looks really fun, uh, just like it always has been. I mean, it's a Ninja Gaiden, the good old Ninja Gaiden that we all know and love. So, yeah, that trailer looked fun. Uh, I guess now the thing that I wanted to do was jump straight into some comments that you guys left, because I know that uh, a lot of people had a lot of things to say about the fact that the game would be getting a physical version uh, in the in the West, at least, uh, which I did mention in the previous video that you could get it from Play Asia. But um, there was also people who were concerned about what's censored and what's not. So time to clear the air. So yeah, the first comment we got is from Richard Jappe, uh, which says, "Is it worth buying the game? Because I really want to play this game. I never played it in my kid years, uh, but now I have money." So if I was answering this question personally, I would say if you have an Xbox One, Xbox Series X, any of those consoles, and you could play the backwards compatible versions of these games, uh, mainly 1 and 2, and is Razor's Edge backwards compatible? I, I don't know for sure. Um, I would 100% go for that instead because uh, I think you'll get the better versions of the games in my opinion. They look great on the Xbox One and Series X and Xbox One X at all the Xbox One and Series family of consoles. Uh, they look great, they'll run great, and it's the better versions of the games in my opinion. So if you want the if you don't really care about playing as like the any of the extra characters that aren't Ryu or any of that stuff, then I'll just go for that because it's probably cheaper and uh, I don't know, I haven't actually looked how much they cost in the Xbox Live marketplace. But if you have the disc versions you can play them too. But um, if you have an Xbox, play those. If not, I would get the Master Collection if you've never played these games before. Because even though there are quite a few differences, especially with Sigma 2, I would say that it's better that you I like think that it's better that you play the games in the, those forms than not play them at all. At least in my opinion. I know other people might uh, th think otherwise, and that's fine. You know, they're interested in 
just the original versions and not the Sigma versions, then fair enough. But if it's asking me, I would say that it's worth it to get this collection if you never played any of the games before. So the next comment is from Hellbreaker. And it says uh, it's not the censored version. They're using the Vita port and it's uncensored, I've heard. Which I've seen this misconception going around a lot. This isn't true. Team Ninja did confirm that the Master Collection versions of these games would be based on the PS3 versions of Sigma 1, Sigma 2, and of course Razor's Edge was multi-platform, so that was on the 360, <laughs> Wii U, and um, the PS3. Which, you know, uh, I'm fine that they used the PS3 versions. I would have preferred, at least for Sigma 2, that they did use a bit more of the gore that the Vita version had, but I'm not that bummed out about it like i was more annoyed when i first heard the news but I'm like, now it's kind of like eh like i'm not that uh kind of annoyed with it uh but just happy to that uh, ninja gardens back and um i've seen a few comments as well saying that obviously the game would would kind of gauge whether there's interest in a ninja garden for for example uh tokyo bassist said uh, I'm buying this because I refuse to be on the side of history that closed the doors on Digigarden 4 when we were so close to getting one. Um, and he wrote a few other things talking about Capcom as well. Which, uh, unfortunately, yeah, if we won in Digigarden 4, we're going to have to support this, which I guess... I, I don't want to say unfortunately, actually, because, I mean, I, I do want to buy this game anyway because of, like, I don't feel like I'm forced to just so I can get Digigarden 4. Like, I actually want to buy this mainly because uh, I haven't actually tried Razor's Edge before, um, which I've heard is a big improvement on the original version of Ninja Gaiden 3. So I really do want to try Razor's Edge and hopefully that's good. Uh, but it's more worth me getting this collection than buying Razor's Edge on its own because Razor's Edge is pretty expensive now. For some reason in the UK, the, the physical copies of Razor's Edge have like skyrocketed in price for some reason. So uh, yeah, I think that it's good that we've got uh, a chance to get Ninja Gaiden 4. It's good that uh, this will kind of gauge interest in Ninja Gaiden 4, but I don't know, part of me is kind of like, I really hope this sells well, because if it doesn't and then we all just buy it and there's no Ninja Gaiden 4, it's like, what was this collection sort of for, if you get, if you get what I'm saying? But yeah. Um, next comment from Lord Raptor, he puts, uh, it's called Emulation Fellas, get into it, which uh, I can see Lord Raptor's point here, but I want to bring in a counter argument to that. Which is, not everyone has the hardware to be able to emulate things like Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge, for example, or even Sigma 1 and Sigma 2. Because, I mean, as much as it is a good idea to, like, emulation, I think, is a great thing because it helps with game preservation where developers don't want to, or publishers or any of those people don't want to kind of preserve their games. I think emulation is good for that. But I would say that people don't necessarily have the hardware, don't always have the hardware, should I say. Obviously, a lot of people do, uh, but not everyone does. So I think that it's good that this collection exists so that people could still just go buy the games and play them just on a console uh, instead of having to emulate them on a PC or even the people who don't have the know-how how to... I mean, it's not very hard. You can learn pretty easily how to emulate stuff, but just, like, the people who don't know how to emulate them or don't have the hardware to emulate them, I'd prefer that there was some way for them to play the games on console. I think that'd be a lot better. So, uh, I see Lord Raptor's point. I think emulation is important and I think it's good that we have that option, but I would also prefer that we have the Master Collection available for new fans. So, the next comments, next few comments, should I say, uh, were all about the censorship of the game. So uh, we got Bird Shiro asking, is it censored only on PS4 or 5, or is it on Switch as well? Uh, w. No Nowakowski, I'm sorry if I butchered your name, uh, said, will the Razor's Edge version be censored also, or just Sigma 2? And also, um, Shifal Shakib asks, uh, does the Xbox version have blood? I'm contemplating whether to get the PS4 version for the pre-order bonuses, or go for the Xbox version for the blood and gore. So to answer this question, I would say, referring to strictly the Master Collection, which these... Uh, three comments are talking about um, it is censored on all consoles so the original version of Sigma wasn't really censored that much I think they removed a bit of blood and maybe some decapitation would happen less often or something uh, but that's not 
really censored at all. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 is its original PS3 version, which didn't have as much dismemberment and had no blood in the game. I mean, there was like a little bit of blood, but it wasn't like how it would like kind of spur out of the arms and legs and all that stuff in the original version. Uh, so that's censored in Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Razor's Edge is identical to its original release there will be blood all over the place as seen in the character showcase trailer there's blood everywhere in the Razor's edge version of the game so uh yeah i hope that helps uh did, just to go over that again digigard sigma one still the same blood as its original version digigard sigma two uh same blood as the original sigma two but not the original ninja garden two so there's still the purple mist and decapitation and all that uh from Sigma 2, but there's no blood like there was in the original Xbox 360 version of Ninja Gaiden 2. And Razor's Edge will remain unchanged from its original release. So I hope that helps you guys who are confused a bit about the censoring. So the next question is also from Shafal Shakib, who asked, Will the game run at 4K 60fps on the PS4 like the Xbox? Now, what from what I've read, I think that the consoles that will run this at 4K 60fps will be the PS4 Pro, PS5, Xbox One X, Xbox Series S, and Xbox Series X. I'm not sure if the Xbox One S will run it at 4K. Uh, the PS original base PS4, I don't think will. I think that'll be 1080p, 60fps. And the PC, obviously, will be able to run 4K, 60fps, depending on what kind of rig you have. So, hope that uh, clears your question up. Uh, next one, from Michael Knight, says, uh, Just played Ninja Gaiden 1 and 2 on Xbox backwards compatibilities. You get the best versions of the game, in my opinion. Ninja Gaiden 3 can be skipped, as I don't remember enjoying that game. I agree with that, 100%. Uh, the only part I don't agree with is Ninja Gaiden 3 can be skipped, because this isn't the original Ninja Gaiden 3. It's uh, Sigma 3. Not Sigma 3, sorry. Razor's Edge. <laughs> There's so many different versions of all these games. It's, uh, it gets a bit confusing, but yeah. Uh, it is Razor's Edge, so it's the improved version of Ninja Gaiden 3, so hopefully it's a lot better than the original version of 3, because as I said, I've never actually played it. I played a demo, but I never played the full game, so uh, I'm excited to actually play that and try it out, see if it's uh, any good. But yeah, that's that's pretty much that with that one. I would say I agree with you. If you have an Xbox, get the original versions of Modern 2, and you can get Razor's Edge 2. If not, then just get the Master Collection. You can enjoy the games either way. Uh, the next question is from Atom Lab X, and I saw quite a few people commenting this. Uh, they said there is a physical release in the West. Order it through PlayAsia. Now, in the original video that I made, I did mention that you could get the game physical off PlayAsia, which is a co it's cool that we have an option to get it physical but what i meant by there's no physical release in the west was at retail there's no physical release so you can't walk into like for example the uk you can't walk into game or you can't walk into uh i don't know like tesco or somewhere and find a copy of uh the master collection on shelves you have to import it which isn't doesn't sound too bad especially for the price that play Asia is offering it at it is fairly close to the same price as the digital one but the only thing that I'm kind of like iffy on is it does say that they don't account for any charges that the uh, like kind of duty costs or custom charges or any of that kind of stuff. They don't uh, cover any of that stuff for you. So th that's kind of a 50-50. I've never actually ordered from PlayAsia before. So I don't know for sure if uh, they do charge uh, like for example if you get something shipped to the UK. Maybe one of you guys in the comments could help us out here. Uh, or help me out, uh, because I'm not sure if they charge anything extra for customs costs or anything, like if they hold your package or something like that, because I know that can happen when you get stuff from ab abroad. But, yeah, uh, I think that if you want it physical, get it from PlayAsia. Uh, if not, then you don't really have much of a choice here. You either get, get it from PlayAsia or get a digital version of the game. So, the next comment uh, is from Brandon Niles. Asking if anybody gives two shits about Razor's Edge. It's just three with extra content. And then he uh, gave an idea for Ninja Gaiden 2. Which I thought sounded pretty cool. If you combined Ninja Gaiden 2 and Sigma 2. And kind of had good stuff there. But yeah. Um, I disagree with this. Uh, from Brandon. Uh, because from what I've played of Ninja Gaiden 3. Razor's Edge is a much different version of Ninja Gaiden 3. Than the version that was released in. Was it 2011? What year did Ninja Gaiden 3 release? Let me let me quickly look this up. Uh, I think it was 2011 Ninja Gaiden 3 released. But yeah, it was... Oh no, it was 2012. Okay, so yeah, 2012. Um, 
but yeah, it was much different than that game. Uh, it felt a lot closer to Ninja Gaiden 2 than it did to the original version of 3 uh, with Razor's Edge. So, yeah, I, I I kind of disagree with that. Uh, I mean, if you, do, if you don't want to give Razor's Edge a chance, then fair enough, but I'm willing to give it a chance. Uh, I'm willing to see if it's any better than the original version of the uh, third game, because that just was a tragedy of a game. But, yeah. After that, uh, the last comment we have here is hopefully PlayAsia has physical copies with English subtitles. And yeah, if you guys do want it from PlayAsia, go ahead and order it because it will have English subtitles and I think English dialogue as well. I think uh, the, the game should be available in English with the disc version as far as I know. Uh, and someone else also asked um, if you'd be able to play the PlayAsia version on a PS4 from like America or like England or anywhere else. Uh, the answer to that is yeah, because the PS4 is not region locked, so if you get a game from Japan, you can play it from uh, anywhere in the world. You can play it on any PS4, any console. The PS4 is not region locked, which is cool. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you're a Ninja Gaiden fan. I will be covering this game. Uh, all over the place. Be sure to check out our Instagram link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. See ya.